All right, you guys, today I check out how to make this vintage pixel effect here in After Effects. Let's go and create a new composition, rename it as pixel. I'm going to go with 1080p, 30 frames per second. Click OK. I'm going to drag and drop the footage, and I'm going to go with this video as a reference. And let's go and right click here, go to New, and select Adjustment Layer. I right click on it, rename, pixel, go to Effects and Presets, type in Mosaic. Let's drag and drop the mosaic on the pixels. And here you can increase the horizontal and the vertical. And for the horizontal, I'm going to go with 120 and the vertical 95. I'm just going to eyeball it and make sure to check sharp colors. Let's go to effects and presets, type in CC threshold. Double click. And here at the threshold, you can set up the number, decrease or increase and adjust the pixelation however you like. I can increase it a little bit more, 90. Let's go back to effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, drag it under the threshold. I'm going to add four. So the edges are going to be a little bit more smoother. I'm also going to go and search for Triton and drag it under the Gaussian. And here I'm going to change up the white and I'm going to go with some green. I think this is good. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the black and I'm going to make it a dark gray. Click OK. I'm also going to search for the posterize. Drag and drop the posterize time right here. And I'm going to decrease it to 10. So it's going to look something like this. And I also want to add some grids. I right click here, new, select solid, rename it to grid, click OK. Now let's go to effects and presets, type in grid. And I'm going to search for the grid, drag it on the grid layer. And I'm going to decrease the border to two. So it's going to be really thin. And I'm going to go here to the anchor. I'm going to go with 1140 and the other one, 634. So this is how you get this grid. I'm also going to change up the color to black. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the opacity, decrease it to 50. Now, of course, this won't be perfect. I'm just going to eyeball it. And next, I'm going to go back to the project. Right click here, new composition, rename it RGB. Click OK, drag the pixel comp into the RGB comp. Let's search for shift channels. Let's go and drag it on the pixel layer. And let's select the layer and press Ctrl D twice. I'm going to go and rename the top one green, second, red, third, blue. Let's select the green, go to shift channels, deactivate the red, turn off, and the blue turn off. Let's go to the red layer. Go to the green, turn it off, turn off the blue. Let's go to the blue layer, turn off the green and turn off the red as well. Now let's select all of them. Let's go to the mode. Now if you don't have the blend mode, you can go to the toggle switch, click on it. So it's going to hide or unhide these settings. Let's go to mode, change it to screen. Now I'm going to select the red and I'm going to press the right arrow a few times. So it's going to create this subtle chromatic aberration. Now I'm going to select the blue layer and press the left arrow a couple of times. So it's going to look something like this. I'm also going to add some noise. Right click here, new adjustment layer, bring it up, right click rename, noise, go to effects, noise, and add some noise. I'm going to go with 15. Hit play and there you go. Thanks for watching.